Hello, everybody! Jake here! And we're gonna be playing Sam and Max Save the World! Some good little jazzy music that I'm sure is gonna get claimed. Sorry, just kind of enjoying the music. I haven't played Sam Max in forever. Hey, Green, how's it going? For just a little bit of... I want to say... History, but uh, uh, this is one of my favorite franchises. I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, this is one of my favorite franchises. I played it back when it was on... Um, Oh god, the Sam and Max, uh, I say it's one of my favorites and I can't remember the name. The LucasArts game, the old point-and-click. I think it was an MS-DOS game, wasn't it? I can't remember. And then, I couldn't believe it when they came out on... Now, if anybody remembers this, in the mid, early to mid-2000s, a uh, thing called GameTap came out. It was basically Game Pass before Game Pass was a thing. Yeah, you paid a monthly and it had a whole reel of games. And you would just download them, play them, and then delete them. And I loved it so much. So good. And this is what- and their main- their main pull was Sam and Max. This- these games. They were episodic. Every month, they would put out a new one. There'd be seasons, and they did three of them. Three seasons. And then, as is with Sam and Max, they got screwed over. And I'm hoping after they... they they're, they're doing remakes. They're about to put out the remake of the, the third season. I'm hoping they'll start making new ones once they do that. Once they finish that up. Because I, I think these games are just a little too good to not play around with. Alright, well, let's get started. As you can see, we have six episodes. Just like the old days. Let me know how the, the sound is, because I do want the, the, the voices and the music to be a little louder than I have been doing it. So as long as it comes out good, because I, I literally can't hear it until the video's done. Oh yeah, they did have a TV show. The TV show was really good. Wow, that's a lot louder than I expected. I love this. They're so good. At, the music's so good. Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! I got it! Hello? Uh, how's my voice compared to them talking? Because uh, they're very Leave loud for me right now. by the rat hole or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweatbox. 
Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. Okay, so what we're gonna do? So they're they're a little loud, right? Ooh, what? Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? I'd actually turn them up just a little bit. I'm gonna turn them down just right about there. And I'm gonna turn myself up about right here. Audio mixing is my f fucking life now. You sure you don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh, you'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. How about there? Is that good? What do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the union. <laughs> Does that feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Not wrong. Da, 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 da. Do you ever wonder what life would be like if we were bugs? Sure, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. Who wouldn't want more arms? Some days I can feel the atmosphere pushing on my head like a giant thumb. Some what? days I hide weights in your hat to see if you'll notice. <laughs> Does it feel drafty in oh, here to same you? Thing. Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. All right, so. Point and click adventure game. Click on everything. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? Try to find how to do stuff. Simple one as that, right? We're going to finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Get my box this envelope. might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. Yes, yeah, stupid ass plant, get your own damn water. So I'm going to preface this with it has been literally God. Probably 2007 since I've played this. Holy crap. Ah, uh, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? It's Sam and Max Hit the Road. That's the one that's on, uh... That's the one that's on, um... PC. That's... I couldn't... Finally. Damn. Alright, so here's the cheese. I already know where this is. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. There it is. Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. <laughs> so what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. So this is the best part of Santa Max for me. And I'm gonna point this out real quick because... I feel like a lot of people don't figure this kind of thing out with. So obviously the point of a of a point and click adventure game is you take logic, you take the items that you get, and you apply that logic, which is usually real world, to the puzzles. So you get a key, obviously that key has to be used to open a door. Or say you get like a piece of paper. Obviously, that paper has to be used to either write something or to give it to somebody for some reason. Sam and Max starts you off with this first puzzle 
which basically teaches you, hey, this is their logic. Now, figure it out. We need Swiss cheese. I'm gonna shoot the shit out of this cheese. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. We now have Swiss Voila. cheese, because it has holes in cheese. it. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! Hold on, I'm listening to myself real quick. Pretty loud, huh? Am I... How am I doing here? Come. I right. wish we hadn't missed that call. Right. It wish might have been the commissioner call. calling with a case. Yeah! Hey, or maybe it was the president about my idea to do daylight savings time in five-minute increments. Hmm. Man, that's, uh, interesting. Listening to myself on, like, three different things. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna turn them down just a little bit more. I'm gonna turn myself down just a little bit, because I'm peeking. <clears throat> and I hate that every time I click out the window, the sound stops. So let's see. One more time here. Do you ever wonder what life would be like if blah, we were Blah, 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 blah. Short, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have blah, more blah, arms. Blah, blah, Okay, that's better. That's definitely better. All right. You can tell when I click out the window because Let's everything stops. I couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. All right. There's your damn cheese. Take freaking cheese. You rat. Greetings. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed. And I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Tutti ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. All right, one more small adjustment here. I'm sorry, guys. God, I hate dealing with audio. Uh, I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit, like that. That up. Trying to not turn myself deaf at the same damn time. Ba ba ba. All right. We've met your demands. We got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Yeah, give the cheese back! Is not known for being give particularly it back. honorable. Another fun fact. This is the... Back when I started in... God. The 2000... I don't even remember when I freaking started this. It... This was the third game I recorded. I recorded... Not specifically this one, but the old ones. The the not the remake. Obviously, it wasn't out. But there was a. Um... We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah, never happened, pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the old ones. I tried to record it. I did Final Fantasy VIII. I did Mega Man X3, and then I tried to record this, and YouTube kept removing it because uh, Telltale's kept uh, striking it. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. 
It does. It really does. It's one of the best things. We're gonna wring his neck. Though. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck. You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? A hey, dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German crusted palms. Yeah, uh. yeah I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know. Can I go now? Uh. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry. Amateurs. Amateurs. Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. You bore me. A hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Yeah, yeah, I know what you want me to do, but I want to hear all the funny lines. Uh, Maybe you'd it. like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Can I go now? Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah, I'm shaking like bacon here. Amateurs. Amateurs. All right, so I need him to be annoyed. So, uh, <clears throat> doing the different talking, that is now open new dialogue trees, just like any other point and click. Got a headache, you eh? a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Light's too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Haha, <laughs> you're screwed, dude. Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. He ate the phone? Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yay! Not the orphanage! Oh. Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was the commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. <laughs> I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. I'll take two. That looks like a good book. Probably pick one of those up. Um, oh, the bowling ball. I know that we're going to need that later. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. Why wouldn't you name a bowling ball? It's cool. Even more so if you go bowling and don't wear shirts that fit. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? There's the car. Graffiti, huh? They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Got a point. Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers. And the 70s are not old. 
Specs, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! <laughs> Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky! I don't oh, sign God! My butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. <laughs> no, not Squinky. <laughs> what was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up, or something like that. <sighs> you made me mess up, which you just did. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Ibo? Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. My mixer's in the way of my video. There we go. Ibo sounds like an electronic oh. archery toy. Ibo is. Oh, you can pause. There's a pause button? Why? The fitness program. Try the video today. Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco's. You should get it. Okay. Sounds fascinating. But enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's eyeball. Didn't I see you on an episode of Celebrity Slap Fight? I Celebrity Slap it. Fight? I was heavy into that sounds amazing. At the time and I needed the money. You got your clock cleaned by that lady from Old and In the Way. Never saw that walker coming. Well, that's nice. By the way, we're freelance police, and you're under arrest. No, I've really got to finish this. But thanks anyway. Um... Oh. Seriously, you're under arrest. Come along quietly and no one gets hurt. Actually, I prefer that you don't come quietly. Must finish painting. Uh-huh. Okay. Excuse us, we've got important things to do. Don't we all? Max, you've got the TV schedule memorized. Weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on channel 173, the Child Star Exposé Network, which we only get when it's convenient. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. <laughs> it says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for locusts. Not wrong. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. Why? Do they stay fresh. They don't. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Oh, double click for fast. Have no fear, simple More citizens. More cheese! The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's Black. just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist! A munchkin terrorist! He'll be the death of us all! Okay. Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the water control issues? Yeah, Whizzer! He's a former child star? Poe, just lock him up and throw away the jail! One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. Uh. And you should take a few yourself! 
How can I be calm with a munchkin terrorist in my store? Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's Ibo? What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Bob Ross. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. <laughs> it makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. <laughs> no, it's definitely a conspiracy. All right. I now know that uh, hot weenies smell like conspiracy. Good. I want this special cheese. Special cheese. Let's say, bet the farm, payday, pot of gold. Okay, so. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lint, pastrami, hairspray. Stop help. right there. Hairspray had no part in this. Oh, sure. That's what you'd like to believe. Get with it, Max. Have you actually witnessed this Ibo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. Okay. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper <laughs> and serial leak taker. <laughs> Not even the National Guard can help us now. All right. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So, what do you want to buy? <laughs> I love this game so much. What have you got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. I want that. And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. What have you got? Well, I I've still got oh, that Jesus. big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. And... Oh, right-click skips. Got it. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Excuse tear me? Gas grenade launcher? Oh, yeah, I really want that. It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. I feel really close to you right now. Give. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. Oh. 10,000 bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Well, one really big one. You mean... White Collar Crime Drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. We'll take that cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You've got to bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? Do you have any weasels on a stick? What? Nope. Well, is Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Oh, what I want? Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. What do you have then? What's even the point of being here? Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. All right, I don't even know what that is. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. Okay, I don't believe you on that one. Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. <laughs> Nothing for us right now. 
Okay. We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. Yeah, we only have a closet hey, Bosco, for it. What can I do for you? We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? Can I have this cheese? Okay, Mac, we want this cheese. Okay, standard cheese background check. I need to see at least six forms of ID, a valid federal cheese license, a completed organ donor card, a written release signed in the presence of a notary public, and your school report cards from the 9th through 12th grades. That's pretty inconvenient. It's okay, Sam. I can be brave. We'll just have to struggle cheeselessly onward. Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. <laughs> Nothing for us right now. Okay. So I'm assuming I cannot leave with the cheese. See you later, Bosco. Remember, we never had this conversation. What conversation? The conversation we just had. No, see, he was just acting like he'd already forgotten the conversation. What conversation? Oh, brother. All right. Let's see what this is about. Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for Ocular Fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh, good. I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. Okay, I'm pretty sure we aren't allowed to do anything just yet. We have to go look at this damn video. See if it'll let me walk out with the cheese. It's probably gonna freak out, right? What? Oh! Oh, did you see that? Oh, yeah! Attention, shoppers. The cheese ain't free. I Sam, tried to buy it. Dead? Too early to tell. No one steals from Bosco. An honest but excruciatingly painful mistake. Okay, so we have to put the cheese back before we can move out of the way. Put the cheese back. Let's okay. just return the cheese to its table. <laughs> that sure was a glitch. Alright, so we have a video. We're going to go back to the office where we have a VCR. Good, we have mood lighting, a little bit of airflow, psychotic, psychotic rabbit. Yeah, we're good to watch this video. We're good. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Thank God. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. <clears throat> what you are about <laughs> to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines. You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look! Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. I agree. Gotta find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. <laughs> Alright, so now we know. Hey, rat. Yoo-hoo. Tiny hoodlums. Oh, I guess he's done. 
On this week's edition of Oh, Is He Still Alive? We look at the stars of the 1970s television hit, The Soda Poppers. I love shows that destroy all our cherished illusions about the stars we once loved. During the Soda Poppers' heyday, young Spex was the role model for obsessive neat freaks all over the globe. Ticker tape free, ticker tape parades were thrown in honor of the Soda Popper who never missed a spot. Backstage, though, things were quite a bit dirtier. Speck's obsession with perfection caused massive delays in shooting and infuriated co-workers. He famously demanded over 11,000 retakes of the line, You made me mess up! Made all the more annoying because of his tendency to repeat, to repeat the line immediately after reading it. Following the show, Spex was rarely seen in public, although he did make one ill-fated venture into celebrity tag team mud wrestling, getting pinned in a record three seconds as he desperately tried to wipe down the ring with a dish rag. The meltdown utterly enraged his <laughs> tag team partner and good friend, the dog from My Mother the Dog, who stormed out of the arena without a word. They haven't spoken since. Coming up next, the soda popper who couldn't always keep it in. And I hit. Who could ever forget Wizard and his hilarious bathroom breaks? His timeout for number one, a dorn lunchboxes all over the nation for the better part of the 70s. I'm gonna check something. It's skipping. Why is it doing that? Where do I have you installed? Because if you are installed in the wrong spot, that would browse them. Why did that pop up over there? That's why it's skipping! Wow! Alright, cool. Behind the scenes, though, Wizard's bladder problems were no laughing matter. The writers learned early on never to give Wizard the only existing copy of the script. On the set, they even had a term for a script that needed to be redone. It's been whizzed. Oh, that wizard! He just charred my little pants off from day one. You don't even wear pants. Sure, not anymore. For years after the soda poppers went off the air, Wizard desperately fought his addiction to designer bottled water, a war he would ultimately lose. The problem came to a climax one evening during a formal dinner at a posh Manhattan restaurant. Visibly loaded with water, Wizard publicly was unable to hold it in. Unable to hold it in all over the floor, most of the tablecloth, and even, ironically, the four-foot-tall ice sculpture of himself created specifically for the occasion. Yeah. Four years Next, after the, the soda poppers, poppers went known off the for air, a really Wizard big part part of his fought anatomy. his addiction to designer bottled water, a war he would ultimately lose. The problem came to a climax one evening during a formal <laughs> dinner at a posh Manhattan restaurant. Visibly loaded with water, Wizard publicly was unable to hold it in. Unable to hold it in all over the floor, most of the tablecloth, <laughs> and even, ironically, the four-foot-tall ice sculpture of himself created specifically for the occasion. All right, we're going to do something real, 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 real quickly. Did it save me? <sighs> So, game should be saved. So, I learned why the audio is fucking up. I'm going to explain it while the screen is black. So, hold on. I need to go to properties. Move. So I have I have four hard drives. Uh one of which is a hybrid drive called which does SSD and normal hard drive. All right, that didn't take long at all. Uh the hybrid drive sucks balls. Just the biggest balls. It tries to move files to the um to the solid state and it causes audio and um all kinds of different little issues. So, I just took a moment to move it over to the right hard drive and we should be good now.
Should run better, too. Hey, Houndsy. All right, so clearly this videotape is bad. We've got to do everything we can to get rid of these little bastards. We're going to go give a ticket. Uh, not only was it stored on a slower drive. <laughs> so it was already, whoa, it was already on a slower drive, but on top of that, it's a hybrid drive. So it was attempting to move files. Am I supposed to slam into people? <laughs> All right. I know. I remember what I have to do here. All right. We'll fix that. We'll, who, who, we'll, we'll make someone commit a crime then. Uh, come on. Where, where are they? There's a car. Come here, buddy. Oh, you. All right. Oh, no, no. Damn it. All right. Guess not you. Frick. All right, looks like it's not your... Oh, God damn it! This is a pain to drive. Can I use... Oh, you can use the... All right, well, your problem now. Gun. Gun. Oh, okay. There's no character audio right now? Oh my god. Why is the audio not there? Really? I had to pick it again? Game capture. Fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we got some accounting to do. There we go. Thanks, sucker. Man, I'm great at this. So because I turned it off, it required me to set the application again. All right, but we got the $10,000. All right. Well, we're going to do. I'm going to do this real quick. I already know what I gotta do, so. Where we going, Sam? Where we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! Probably kind of stupid, but I like the audio. I like their voice acting. We'll just slam into some unlucky guy. By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already planning on it, little buddy. We'll just go ahead and slam and, and handle this real quick. 
Crap. Take the wheel, little buddy. With I like, pleasure. I like ruining this car better anyway. Let's this car's good. Please accept my condolences for your tail light. We're freelance police. And you're not! Ergo, we call the shots around here! Oh, why did you stop me? Your taillight's out, you stupid fuck. Your taillight's busted. But you're the ones who broke it! Your point being... Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? What? Are you crazy? Uh, oh, one moment. Allow me to confer with my legal counsel. <laughs> Uh, my attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting to do. Thank you for the Thanks, money. Sucker. Ah. All right. So now we have $10,000. Just do what I think I need to do here. Go back. Caffeine rush. Oh. Sweet carbonated beverages in a pig trough. He's gone. Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Wow. You made me mess up. Okay. <clears throat> Can't do anything about that right now, I don't think. I'd rather punch other things. I don't want to punch it. I want to go inside. Baked beans in a... God, what are those even things called? Who's there? Yeah, it's just you. Excuse me? Coal tar? Ew. Hot bunny? What do we have here? Organ trader? Self-loading weekly? Oh, let me see that. Hey, Bosco. What do you need? What you need? Wanna buy some? About the Munchkin terrorism. Oh, wanna... Yeah, what about it? We got I it. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? I'll buy you something. You wanna buy something? Ah, what you got your eye on? And I got that tear gas? We got your tear gas money right here. Really? Well, all right. Here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. <laughs> trust me. Trust me. Now put that away before someone gets hurt. What do you mean? Ow. The 10,000 just cover the cost of materials, you know? Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. Air gas grenade launcher, huh? Well, we need to get rid of him. What do I have? I have tear gas. Can I use the tear gas on this idiot out here? Quit it, brain freeze. Looks like this stuff doesn't work on people who wear glasses. Oh. I think I remember. I gotta do... They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Some items I need, and I don't know. I'm gonna handle this guy first, maybe. Hello. Hello. Self-loathing magazine. I need one of those. Um. Okay. 
Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. This week's flavors wheatgrass and meatloaf. Uh -huh. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. I did. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Wow! Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. Who exactly is this? Oh. And what kind of Brady? Ooh. And did you fast? Yeah, 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 yeah. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't Ugh. wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Yes. Oh, right. Sorry. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's nice. What is? Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys. There's no law against giving away free stuff. Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. Put your hands on your head. You're under arrest. Aw, oh, come on. It's a free country. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who told you that? This guy's suffering from some pretty severe delusions. <laughs> right. If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one. Thanks. Sludgies. With 100... This week's flavor... Okay, so... Remember the specifics of what I have to do. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. But how do I get to that point? Is the first question. I gotta get him to piss himself. I know that. Bathroom door? Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. I'll do it. Uh-oh. Time out for number one. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. The Whee! crate that delivers Bosco's terror. I think it's the tinge of green. I take my coffee green, like my men. Okay. Hmm. There's something I'm not getting. Hmm. I know the things that I need to do. 
I need to get this guy to come over here by screwing up his graffiti. They say graffiti is the poetry of just what we need. More Can't go over here yet, can I? Oh, I can. This place used to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with the number three socket spanner. Exactly. Good times. Good times. Poster. Looks like there's going to be a lawnmower show. Great. I love riding mowers. They're like golf carts with teeth. Con man. Looks like there's going to be. Great. Oh. Like you could use some therapy. Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you. Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers. Me? Right. You're, uh... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about. My name is Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. I think I know where I use the tear gas now. Are you sure your name is Civil, not Peepers? Absolutely. Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. That's me. He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer. Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? Fair. Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID? Sybil. My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. How about a little analysis? Certainly. Tell me what's bothering you. I've been feeling less frisky than usual. Well then. You might try Brady Culture's Ibo video. That'll I put see. a spring in your step. Your eyes, too. Ibo? Yes, my runny, poached, egg-like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it. Who's this Lady Culture person? Brady! Brady Culture! He's only the most insightful and amazing man of the planet, that's all. It's not Sean Penn? Not anymore. <laughs> I'm so disillusioned. Not Sean Penn. Uh, I already know what he's going to say. He's going to be like, go get a copy of the video thing. Enough said. Something else has been on my mind. Tell me what's bothering you. It's not me. It's Max. Hey. He thinks he's a rabbit. I am a rabbit. See? Yes, well, I would recommend Brady Culture's uh. IBO video for this situation. Good eye health helps combat uh. delusions. I'm a rabbit! Sounds like a piece of work. Oh, it is! It is! Enough said. Alright, so... Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! Let me just, um... Gonna pull this. We're gonna... Add this, and I'm just gonna... Uh, right there. Oh, Sybil! What is that? Don't worry. This won't hurt a bit. No! But it will make you cry. Thank God. I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh, my God. He's still here? Call a cop. You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! But he's my pal. You're friends with that overgrown sociopathic child? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant this overgrown sociopathic child. <laughs> I thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? 
The psychotherapist's handbook or the lunatic's handbook? There's a difference? Fair. What's the charge? Assault, kidnapping, identity theft. Those are good charges. They are Some very of my good favorites. charges. And what about mopery? Moper. He locked me in the closet and he's been pretending he's me. Gadzooks, why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference or latent unwarranted... I keep forgetting that it, it pauses when I go out. Hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Gasp. Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. Yeah, normal. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Very normal. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Okay. Knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! Oh, good. I had to do this first anyway. Um, so... I want to shoot him in the face again. Oh, Sybil. Yes? Uh, the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> but it will make you cry. There. Now he can't do anything. <laughs> while I punch him in the fucking face. Please, Sam. Allow me. Now, peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, peeps! I can see you! <laughs> oh my, that was great. That was great. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. Mwahahaha! <laughs> uh, it's still not quite right. <laughs> nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil. It's Peepers. Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream! And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes! Brady Culture was there! He kept telling me to do stuff! Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, unspeakable! what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nuthouse? Wow, we gotta meet this guy! Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want With our own madness. Help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. Madness. My brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can't fix. Oh, dear. I like that the child stars have like five o'clock shadows and like I know that they're from the seventies or whatever. But it's funny that they're like children. But also have like five o'clock shadows and the one guy has like the, the, the Reed Richards friggin' white hair on the side. This is where your past comes to die. Infectious free diseases. Mm -hmm. Impressive credentials. Thank you. Where's Diploma Mill College? It's in Battle Creek. Okay. Thank you. 
Ah, the Tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Nice sign. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Well, that's good. I think those might be iron-ons. Convenient and painful. A surefire hit with the average consumer. Iron-on tattoos? Ow. I mean, I guess normal tattoos are ow as well. Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Thanks for taking care of that wacko. I wish there was some way I could repay you. Have you got ten grand? I'm new at this. I have a lot of student loans. Great! Loan us a student! I can ride it around like a pony! It's nice to see you show such enthusiasm! Security. Max might like a tattoo. Ooh, yeah! I want a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands! Ugh. I get the cold shivers just thinking about remembering hearing you say that. I'm out of the tattoo business anyway. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. Can you fix cars? Ours sometimes makes a noise like an orangutan with the dry heaves. Um, that's my fault. I've been keeping an orangutan in the trunk. Oh, never mind. I'm not much of a mechanic anyway, except with unicycles. I suppose you could psychoanalyze me. Hey, yeah, I could count your marbles for you. I have a license, you know. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots. We could try some free association. I could interpret your dreams for you. Uh, let's do the ink How blots. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions, or uh, obsessions. Take a look at this, and tell me what you see. The results of the last time I let Max drive. All right. Now, how about this one? Pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. And this? Coded love notes from space aliens. Alien love notes. Interesting. Now this one. What do you see? Oh my god, how many of these? Elephants? Oh, I, yeah, I could kind of see that. Yeah. 20 nuns with machine guns out for vengeance. And this one? Oh my god, how many of you? I mean, clearly. An orangutan trying to escape from the trunk of a DeSoto. Hmm, your responses are kind of all over the map. I can't tell a whole lot from them. Sorry. Thanks, Doc. Uh, I feel like that's something I'm going to end up having to do. What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Word to the wise. Never put your... Or vice versa. Trigger word causes strange culinary impulses. Possible organic malaise fixation. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Crown? Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap... Subject comb. Relax. Who says I'm not relaxed? 
Oh, right, we're freely associating. Sorry. Well, this has been illuminating. What's the verdict? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. Anything to support small local businesses. We can always sell organs on the black market. To Just so they're not ours, little buddy. I think I do can need to do... do some ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Take a look at this. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Interesting. I think yeah, we have to do this, this and get the... We're just going to go like... The Saint as Valentine's violent as possible. And this? A squirrel that got run over twice. Now this one. What do you see? Twenty nun. And this one? Well, I can see from these that you're a bit hung up on violence. Violence is the mustard on a life security. Thanks, Doc. Hmm. Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Youch. Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. My dreams all my dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? It was Max. Ah, oh, yes, your imaginary friend. Excuse me, I'm standing right next to you, lady. In your dream, was Max doing anything unusual? <laughs> well, he was saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the tune of Camptown Races. I pledge allegiance to my gun, do-da, do-da. But that's not unusual. I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away, things we're ashamed of. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? A hidden video camera. Hmm. I think someone may be secretly ashamed of his voyeurism. What? Nope, I'm proud! I prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? No, wait, I forgot something. Oh, do continue then. Not a thing was on TV. Suggest no, that can't be right. I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. Rat hole, maybe? I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Mm, the rats are pests. They represent something bothersome. Tell me, what was in the hole? It was a hot weenie of indeterminate maturity. A weenie in a rat hole. Nope, no symbolism there. Yeah, definitely no. I realized there was someone else. Oh, who was your special? It was you. Me? My, my, my. Oh, I represent your mother. You do? Of course. The feelings of trust, of safety. Besides, I figure the old hag's got to be in there somewhere. That's psychotherapy 101. Insightful! Tell me, in your dream, <laughs> was I doing anything queer? You did say something pretty queer. You ungrateful pup! I went through three weeks of labor for you! Wow, it is your mother. I was right! As I usually am. Well, we certainly made some sort of dream. Um, anything on the dartboard? I noticed something odd on the dartboard. Oh, something you're shooting for. What was your target?
It was a psychotherapy diploma. Interesting. Do you secretly want to become a therapist? No, I publicly want to become a therapist. <laughs> oh, you kidder. Please, try to be serious. Water cooler? I turned to leave the office. Oh, was that the end of your dream? No. No, wait. I'm trying to click the water something. cooler. Where's the... Oh, Let me do click continue the water cooler. then. Water cooler. There we go. I noticed something peculiar in the water cooler. Ah, the water cooler. A source of refreshment. What was in it? It was a massive death-dealing revolver. You subconsciously find revolvers refreshing? Oh no, it's quite conscious, I assure you. Hanging on the coat rack was a necktie in the shape of a noose. Oh my. Sam, I'm not sure how to put this, but I think you may need a therapist. Oh wait, I forgot I am one. I don't think I can click anything else. Is there anything on the bulletin board? Nothing unusual there. I noticed a plaque above the closet bearing Jesse James's severed hand. <laughs> well, only in a dream, huh? I think we have that in the office, actually. Uh, I guess I'll end the dream. I don't know. Was that the end of your dream? Yep. Then I woke up screaming. I can see why. Can we do some more ink blocks? Sure. Take a look at... The results of... All right. Now, how about this one? The same. And this? I'm, like... A squirrel that got... 90% sure we have one. to what do, do one of these. 20 nuns with... And this one? A word. Well, I can see from these that you're a bit hung. Violence is the muster. Security. Thanks, Doc. Not to obsession. Though, Actually, huh? let's save this. Hmm. Postponing responsibilities. Interesting. Huh. She has something I need. There's no fucking way she doesn't. Ah, taxidermy. The dead are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. Hmm. Huh. I see if there's anything I'm missing. Where are we going, Sam? No uh, place. Never mind. I already grab it? No.
I'm missing something. What am I missing, though? Man, I'm dumb. Oh, look, we have cheese. Get good music, though, while being dumb. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what? I could have sworn there's supposed to be something like right here. Where the? Whee! Oh. Mailbox? Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose, ah, memories. one thing I can do and there's the other thing right there stupid ass hello All right. I think I got this I think I got this discounted cheese is nigh impossible to pass up Whee! I had forgotten when we have the cheese we get fucking hit oh fun Uh oh, we need to get them hit. So let's Time get this out for number one. Get this guy hit. Whee! If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. There we go. Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. What the? Time out for number one. We're saved! That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> classic. Just classic. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> Eh, better, better. Hey, it's a lot, evil laughter is getting better. Uh, no, no, no. He... Get up. <clears throat> uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby. What's going on? Where? Where's the bathroom? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's a 227 something. Spex would remember the street. He always does the navigating. Can you take us there? Heck no! I've got to take some time out for number one! Well, that was helpful. Uh, there's landmines back there, apparently. This is what I was looking for, right fucking here. Hey, God damn it. Of spray paint, and it's not even empty. All I needed. All I freaking needed. This could use a little improvement. There, fixed it. Hey, hey, hey! You messed it up! Oh, now I've gotta fix it, brain freeze. Good. Stay right there, okay, buddy?
You know what? I'm sure he's going to be fine. Everything will be good. He certainly won't die from this. Right here. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. You made me mess up. <laughs> now this is quality television. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say. <laughs> well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second. Okay, let's go. Man, he uh he got really good at that evil laugh very fast. Hey Specs, I'm gonna Take pick control you. of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh no. Quick, follow that soda popper. Hurry, Sam. He's getting away. Holy crap. Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Got him. Yes! That freaking music! <laughs> Don't shoot! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just... You always see cops on the news beating up on some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Thanks. Finally, some convenience. Uh, does anyone know how to change a tire? That'll be fine. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Ah. Uh, Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently, it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Forsooth! You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. Okay, so that's what we needed her to do. Got it. Hi, monkey. Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. We're just, I was thinking way too far ahead. Uh, oh. Whee! Where are we going, Sam? Back to the Back office. Back to the office. Hey lady, I need you to psychoanalyze me properly. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you. Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure, take a look at this. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. I see. Now, how about this one? Pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. And this? Uh, 
an autograph written in Braille. Now this one, what do you see? A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? That blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. Well, your choices indicate an obsession with fame. There we go. That's one of the All indicators right. of artificial personality disorder. I'd better make a note on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Sure, go ahead. Cow. Uh... Can I sit in the tattoo chair while we do this? Me first! Trigger word induces unusual desire for tattoo in subject. Possible symptom of you. How about this word? Drill. Whoa, don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm, violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Dryer. Briar? Can I sit in the tattoo chair? Me uh, first! Trigger word. Well, this has been... Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction to dentistry. You should see him at the podiatrist's. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. That's all I had to do is point I a gun at her? on your chart. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. What was the last one? It was... Fame, dentistry, and the peers getting older? I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. All right. Okay, tell me what happened. One in the room. I realized there was some. Oh, who was your. Max? It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Ah, parking a meter? parking meter. A parking meter? Why would you possibly be ashamed of that? Well, we did run over the meter in front of our building once or twice. Or every single time we ever parked there. I noticed something weird st Something bothered- It was that staple office knickknack, the clacking balls. Not unlike the ones on your desk. Oh, do you not like the balls? No, <laughs> Sybil, I don't like the balls. Well, <laughs> I don't like the balls. Nothing unusual. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. What was the target? Mm. It was a psychotherapy diploma. Interesting. Do you secretly want? No, I <laughs> think that is still correct. I noticed something peculiar in the water cooler. A source of refreshment? What was it? It was a crisp new copy of Self Loathing Weekly. Oh, that is refreshing. I never miss an issue. Not a thing was suggested. No, that. Was that the end of your dream? Yep, then I woke up screaming. I can see why. 
Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their subconscious desire to see their peers age. I have no idea what it wants me to I'd do. I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. All right, let's examine your disturbing subconscious desires a bit further. Okay, tell me what happened. Oh! I did do quick, a quick look up specifically what I'm missing, and apparently there's another thing that I'm not clicking, which is... Nothing unusual there. This fucking donut box right in the corner. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, is there going to be a celebration? What did you get? Wedding cake. It was a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. Oh, is somebody getting married? Hmm? The stupid friggin' box in the corner that I just did not see. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? You. It was you. Hmm. Or was it really your mother? Yeah. I think that's all we need. I'm gonna jump out this window now. Was that the end of your dream? Yep, that's it. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD. Really? Frickin' hell, I'd like man. to tell you about another. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. The good thing that she gives you unlimited okay, tries. Tell me what happened? Oh. Yeah. I had just gotten some for a celebration, perhaps? Okay, so I need It was an overly that. frosted birthday cake. Hmm. Someone's another year closer to the grave, eh? And then Max, because he's my peer, right? I realized there was some Oh, who was your special guest? It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. Wait a second. The birthday cake, your friend, you subconsciously want to see your peers get older. I could have told you that. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality oh. disorder. Yes, I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. That was a lot easier than I was making it. Wow, it must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no. Definitely no, Max. Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. And this is already almost over, because, I mean, uh... Yeah. I, uh, the, these were very short, if you kind of had an idea what you were doing. Let me in, monkey. Monkey, let me in. Oh, that is the worst. Oh, I hate it. Door's open, though. Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. 
Sounds like a million laughs. What? Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lon Chaney in a boffo fright wig. Brady Culture, I presume. You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The freelance police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Right? Allow me to explain. <coughs> Uh-oh. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no. Those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles. They came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever. How cruel. When you put it like that, I do feel bad. Is it over? I think so. So, Whoops. since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having <laughs> my arch rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become Video Delivery Man. What? What's happening? Oh, no. Oh, no! What are you doing? I don't know. I... You were in on it all along. I told you it was a conspiracy. I told you, but then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA. Call Interpol. Call Mickey Rooney. Must deliver Mickey Rooney videos. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I have no control now. However, should be able to. Oh, don't even try. There we go. I love that part. Fixed. Uh oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become Ugh. video delivery man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy. I'll save you. Okay, uh, what do I have? A gun. Out rack? It's just a dream, Sam. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. Hurry, Sam. I've got an itch. I can't scratch. Ah, uh, they gave me an itch. Frick. Bicycle pump? What is this thing? Sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. Yeah, let's open this door and uh, get giant rat. Oh, don't point at me. That's the worst. I will be number one in the ratings. Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. No, the cheese must stand alone. No! And another one bites the cheese. It's fine. Everything's fine. Weird. Hands moving around. Uh, well, he's dead, so that's good. Moke, huh? Strange.
Can I just shoot you? <laughs> you can't shoot me. I'm incandescent. Oh, because you're on, I can't shoot you. Light switch. There we go. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? No! Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. <laughs> Can I shoot the TV? <laughs> Shooting TV stars only makes them stronger. What? Oh, I guess that does kind of make sense, yeah. I will be universally loved by everyone in the universe. Can I shoot Max? Hey, Max, get down here. I don't want to pop him. Didn't hurt. <laughs> Enigmatic. I may not show it much, what? but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car. I may not show it much. How do I get Max down? Bicycle pump is now free? I think I've done enough. Queer. I only have a gun. What are you pointing at? Brady culture. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Oh, there's that farm. That's cool. Close this door. Odd. I just turned the TV it's Brady off. Culture on TV. Yes, right where I. Oh, hanger. There we go. I wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! No! Goodbye! Oh, yes. That's much better reception. Night, Hounsie. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. May not show it. Brady's stolen Max. Oh. Hey, don't touch my tail, you psychopathic body stealer. Ooh, just let me at him. Brady's stolen Max. <laughs> just let me at him. I'd love to. How do I get you down, buddy? Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. Hurry, Sam. I've got an itch. I can't scratch. You want to name every single one of your children after me. I mean, a little bit. I'm gonna do it with the smoke. Interesting. It's just a dream, Sam. Oh, coat hanger. I now have the coat hanger. Can I use the coat hanger. Why am I lugging around a coat hanger again? Please, Sam, put it back on the TV. I'm begging you. That doesn't even work in a dream. Can't put the... Not even in a dream. Well, I have a coat hanger now. You have no idea. No, I don't. That doesn't even work. Not even in a dream. What do I do with this damn coat hanger? Let's just press it against every smoke. 
That doesn't even work in a dream. Not even in a dream. Don't worry, little... Hmm. What do I do? This damn coat hanger. Didn't hurt. <laughs> Weird. Oh! What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. There we go. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> that was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again, Sam! Hmm, what now? Yay! <laughs> That was great, but Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. Okay. Brady's stolen man. <laughs> Just let. That doesn't even work in. I'm just gonna do the same thing over if I do this. Flippy. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> I can't click while this is happening. Yay! <laughs> I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. Brady's stolen Max. <laughs> just let. Oh, goldfish. Goldfish is out there. That seems, uh... Dance, awful. puppet, dance. I love oh. my hair. And you do, too. I only got two fucking things. Here, let me like... Whoa! Gotcha! Yay! <laughs> now three! Oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? No! <laughs> That's oh horrific. My. Oh, dear God. Hairball? Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. Bye bye. Oh, uh. oh no! He's awake! We're done for! Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co conspirator? My co conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter. That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy. <laughs> the coat hanger threw me off. Any like, I was I expecting to use it because it, why did give it to me? Brady culture. I, Bo Man. Huh, stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, Bosco. No can do. I've got to save my furry little pal. I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis-inducing energy beams. Oh, a, a hypnosis blocker? Yeah, I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something, quick. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. Make sure we're not missing anything. I was like delivering stuff. There's no van. Oh, I guess I was just using the car. Uh, let's make sure there's nothing in here that I need. 
Ooh, this place looks cool at night. I like this moon picture. There's no time for that. I've got to rescue. Oh. That won't help me rescue Max. Oh? You know who would have loved that? Okay, um, lava lamp. That's exactly the sort of thing Max would have looked at. <laughs> Not nearly as cool. That makes me miss Max. Maybe Sybil knows something. Doc. Max is gone. Yes. Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. No, that megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him. I see. Of course. Hang on, were you implying that Max is imaginary? I wasn't implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him too, though, right? True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. What does that have to do with anything? I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Ugh. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. It's a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course, but you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm, my lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. Okay, so let's, uh, can I... That won't help me decipher this diagram. Okay, I probably have to take this to Bosco, because he's the only other person that we can talk to. I mean, who else is going to do it? She can't do it. Max is gone. So it's got to be Bosco, right? Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it? A death threat? Even better. It's instructions for the latest in Bosco tech innovation. Hmm. Well, let's see. A calling of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna. Got it. And I know where to get the antenna, I think. We're just moving right along. It's like you get stuck on one little friggin' thing. Max isn't gonna like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've gotta tell him as soon as possible. This one little thing that just like, you get stuck on and it just takes fucking forever. I love point and click games. Bosco, I have an antenna. Will a make-do antenna do as a make-do antenna? Yeah, okay. Let me just add a little Bosco tech innovation. And here it is. The most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Happy days are here again. Uh-oh, it seems like the old moolah gauge is running on empty. Ah, take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. Wasn't well, that nice, Bosco being a good guy?
that should be it. We should be good to finish, I think. Maybe one more puzzle? Puzzle time? I'm coming, Max. Thank goodness the gate stayed open. Rule number three. Always wear protective headgear when confronted. Oh. We're putting it on over the hat. Good. I'm sure that makes it work better. Hand over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again... What? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. Time out for the cavalry! You've colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. Um, we see you, and this time we're going are... to get hypnotized again. Yeah, exactly. They don't have. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! Ow! That doesn't need another coat. That doesn't need another coat. Become Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotapes. What nonsense. Attack the dog! <laughs> worship me! No, me, me, worship me! You're my minions, mine! Happy Rush! <laughs> um. Attack Brady Culture. No, attack the dog! Ow. Okay. Pretty sure I know what I need to do, but I I just kind of become videotapes. Become videotapes. I want to see some funny li- <laughs> Black Wits, attack the dog! <laughs> Love the cartoony sound effects. All right, so I'm pretty sure... Do this. Worship yourselves. <laughs> Boneheads, attack the dog. Well, really, the only thing that you get him to do anything different is worship me. Worship me. No, me, me. Worship me. Everything is about me. Attack the dog. Okay. Ow. Me, me, me! Worship me! No, me, me! Worship me! Everything is about me! I get mad. Okay, little buddy. Oh, sure. I've been amusing our adversary with gory haiku poems while he plays that dumb song over and over. Hey! That's my theme song. It's a stack of those Ibo videos. Attack Brady Culture. No, attack the... <laughs> hmm. I'm pretty sure... This is, the first, this is the first part. No, me, me, worship me, everything is about me. Then. Become me. No, me, me, become me. <laughs> what? Hey, wait a second. Attack the dog. Ow. Oh, I got it. 
become. No, so we want to do worship me. Worship me. No, me, me. Worship me. We're Everything gonna... is about me. We're gonna pull a Bugs Bunny. Attack me. Attack me. No, me. Attack me. Me, me, me. Yes. Oops. No. Wait. I mean. Oh, oh, oh. Smart hey, move, Sam. Hey. You played him oh, like a two-dollar glockenspiel. I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You crack me up, little buddy. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. Well, that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole <laughs> hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason. There we go. Episode one completed. Actually, yeah, I think that was the only swear. That wasn't too bad. It only takes about two hours to finish an episode if you don't get stuck completely. Good music. The drunk guy. I'm <laughs> Two thousand six. Holy crap! That's been oh, oh, that's sad. All right, so that was fun. Um, I think we might end the stream here because I don't have enough time to start episode two. I would end at nine anyway, which is in forty minutes. But we do have episode two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, we'll do. We'll probably do episode two next Tuesday. Uh, next stream will be. We're gonna do Thursdays. I'm kind of enjoying doing the Thursdays. It's just easier on me to have kind of like a day off in between. Each day. So. Thursday we'll do more Pokemon Randomizer. Saturday will be Final Fantasy 7 Remake. And then Sunday if everything goes well we should have a special. We should have a special stream. I don't know for how long it'll go or what we plan to do. Well I, I do know what we plan to do but I'll, I'll save it as a. Uh, a uh secret for now it's gonna be a it's gonna be a two-player game if we end up doing it Whew. go back but i love these old sam max games they're great uh, i can't wait to play more and i hope that they make more eventually i don't know how good a streaming game this is Oh, they did? Cool. Uh, I'm glad that they recommended it, the, the short. 
uh, I'm trying to get into it. Shorts are really weird. They're, they're, it was kind of a pain in the ass to make even that little thing. I'm glad that it recommended it to you. I, I'm, I'm, I just got the okay to, oh, since I'm doing that right here, first of all, as much as I love this game, as much as I love this game, it is very hard to talk over because it's every it's so perfectly written. So yeah, we're just gonna save it for one day. Uh, they did make a VR game recently. The uh... but I don't have VR, so I can't do anything about that right now. Uh, maybe eventually. Um, let's talk about the shorts. Yeah, so I'm going to start doing the shorts, try and get some good stuff out. I made a highlight channel, which has been approved by YouTube. So I'm going to upload a highlights video to that probably not tomorrow, but the next day. I wanted to do it today, but I, I had to get the approval bullcrap. Mm, uh. uh, so if you're interested in seeing highlights, it's um, at Zegjita Stream Highlights, the YouTube channel. I'll even I'll even go ahead and post it in here. There's nothing in it yet. Highlights. Currently nothing in here yet, but that's that's the channel. And I'll basically just cut videos down. I'll cut videos down. I I did the um the gravity circuit is down to forty five minutes after a day's of work a day of work. <laughs> Holy crap, that took forever. Alright, so I'm going to stop here and say thanks for watching, everybody. I hate that the music cuts out every time I go off. But this music's really good. It's about a four to five hour stream, yeah. So that video will be uploaded to the stream highlights channel. Not to today, like I said. Or not today, not tomorrow. Probably Wednesday. Well, I got, yeah, I, uh, Thursday, Thursday, I mean. I'm gonna try and do like stream upload then the next day will be highlights video if i have one available then stream upload stream upload stream trying to keep it somewhat good not every stream is going to turn into a highlight video obviously because i have to do all the work myself <laughs> fun but it is what it is all right so we're done have a good night everybody and i'll see you guys later Bye.